Kundi Renegade is one of the best open world builds in Guild Wars 2. It offers great sustain and great damage. In this video, we will understand how the build works and learn how to play it with some examples. And when you are done, you will be ready to handle most of the open world content in Guild Wars 2, even if you are playing solo. For the gear, we are using full Trailblazer armor, weapons and trinkets. If you can't get Trailblazer, you can buy Dire Gear instead from the trading post, which is very cheap. Our runes are Traveler runes for the extra 25% speed, because this build does not have any swiftness or speed on its own. But if you don't care about speed, use Undead runes instead from the trading post. Our main weapon is a short bow with sigil of malice and bursting, and the secondary weapons are mace with sigil of corruption and axe with sigil of malice. If those sigils were expensive for you, buy the major ones instead. They are much cheaper. Our food is koi cake, and utility is tuning icicle. For the legends, we are using renegade and dwarf. And for our traits, we are using Corruption, Devastation, and Renegade. Corruption is where most of your damage comes from. We have Invoke Torment, which is an effect that will apply two stacks of Torment when you swap Legends in combat. Torment will do 10% more damage, our condition damage is increased by 120, and then those two traits combined will increase your condition duration for the important conditions by 25%, and our Grandmaster trait will apply resistance when we swipe legends, which will also heal us every second. You will need this trait because the build does not have that much condition cleanses on its own, and the only source you have for it will be your healing skill on your dwarf. You can also take the bottom trait instead, which will transfer 3 conditions from you onto your enemy. But the problem with this trait is it has the same radius as Invoke Torment, which is 240 and that is not a big range at all. And you will find that most of the time when you swap legends, it will not actually transfer conditions because the mobs will be a little far away. Your sustain relies heavily on the battle scar effect which will siphon health with every attack. We get battle scars from our traits in the devastation trait line. Our healing skill will give us 5 stacks of battle scars when we use it. We also generate 1 stack for every second we are in combat, but the most important trait is your grandmaster 1 which will give us battle scars when we apply vulnerability, and it will also double the amount of health we siphon when we are below 50% health. This will work very well with Ice Razor. In Renegade, when we disable an enemy, we will apply vulnerability. This will work very well with the Grandmaster trait in Devastation, and every time we summon Dark Razor, it will interrupt enemies, which will apply vulnerability, which will give us battle scars. Our short bow skills will now pierce, which will make it easy for you to handle big groups of mobs. And our Grandmaster trait will give us 15 stacks of might every time we use Heroic Command. If you are having a problem with sustain while fighting one boss without mobs included, you can switch to the bottom trait instead which will give you protection when you summon any of your allies from the renegade legend. Before we move to the next part, don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to see more similar guides and know when they are posted. Now, let's learn how to use that build. Your main weapon and the one you will use most of the time will be your short bow. Most of your damage comes from skill 3 and 4, which will do a lot of burning and torment. Start by casting Ice Razor and Dark Razor to benefit from your traits, then use your short bow 4 and 3 for the damage, and then Heroic Command for the might. After that, just use Ice Razor and Heroic Command anytime they are off cooldown. If you found yourself in a hard fight, try to save your energy, use your Elite Soul Cleave with Ice Razor and then follow up with your Short Bow 3 and Short Bow 4. This will increase your sustain and give you a lot of health significantly. And of course, don't forget you can also use your healing skill. If all of that was not enough, switch to Dwarf 
which will give you the resistance which will heal every second and then you can also use your healing skill in the dwarf legend with a vengeful hammer which will decrease the damage you will take but don't forget to get back to renegade legend when you are done with your heals for the maximum damage and to benefit from your traits and if you are fighting a boss with a break bar use dark eraser with short bow 5 to try and break it you also have X5 and forced engagement on the dwarf. You should only be on Mace X if you want to fight in melee and you will not do a lot of kiting. And you should also use them when you first start on a map to build up your corruption stacks. And just use your skills 2, 3 and 5 along with your other legend skills as we explained before. If you had any questions about the build or the gear, please let me know in the comments below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Also, I would really love to know how does the build work out for you, so it will be great if you can leave a comment for that as well. If you don't know how to get trip laser gear or how to buy sheep dire from the trading post, I have guides for them and you will find them on your screen now or in the description and in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to see more similar guys like this one and know when they are posted.